Hey guys, welcome back to a cold and windy part two of the upgrades to our off-grid power system. Now in the last video, we replaced the old P-type panels on the roof with the N-type ones. And this time we're doing the same for the ground mount and building a new ground mount to go with it. If you've been following us for a while, you'll have seen this in various different setups. The last one was 12 of the P-type panels, which added up to 1.4 kilowatts. We're going to replace that with just four of the 300 watt N-types, so we can reduce that wind profile and keep it still somewhere around 1.2 kilowatts, but performing better in dull, dark conditions. Having the array at this width has given the wind too much of a leverage effect. And you can see underneath the caster there, it's just gone straight through the wood. Because this is going onto a wooden ground mount, we're using 90 degree brackets, but instead of just two or four on each panel, we're going to put six on each of these. in the difference but yet it's two foot narrower in width overall so less of it to catch the wind got to say a big thanks of course to longtime friend of the channel Porg McCarthy no doubt you're watching this from SPV Energy in Kingscourt County Cabin for throwing these in for free as part of the deal and they were used panels that they just had lying around so the next thing to do now is to set up the remote control actuator and get this turning okay guys it's just 20 past 8 in the morning and I've had to skip ahead just a little bit here as we have ideal conditions to see what power we're getting out of this rotating array so as I said it's just after 8 in the morning and um, I've turned the array just by hand I don't know if you can see that and because it's late October you're going to get lens flare but the sun is just peeking out over the trees over there I hope you can see it in the footage and it's extremely low in the sky and that's exactly what this solar array is meant to do is catch that early morning sun and um, there's bad weather due for tomorrow so the video has to go out on friday and this is perfect testing conditions so let's just see what it's bringing in now here you go 1.06 1.1 1.2 1 1.3 1 1 we'll come back later on check on it again and get on with the rest of the job first to drive the array this time we're using this second hand linear actuator and it's going to be controlled by my DIY remote control relay now if you want to make one of these yourself if you go back to one of the videos from 2024 there'll be a wiring diagram in that um, or if you couldn't be bothered just go on to Amazon or eBay and you can get much nicer or neater ones all in little box for about 25 quid I have a sneaking suspicion I'm going to have to make some adjustments to the position of this actuator to get a better degree on the turn angle but uh, let's give it a go and see what happens on the bright side it's much slower and less jerky than the old setup used to be much more controlled the turn angle isn't great though Okay, that's its max. We'll definitely have to reposition that actuator to get more of a turn angle on it. It's supposed to be able to do 90 degrees as it came off some, um, some uh, driveway gates. So it can definitely do 90 degrees. It just has to be in the right position to do it. So I'll have to come back to that after the storm, unfortunately. Using the All Powers Power Pack is a great way to offset energy usage away from the main household batteries. That way I can continue to run all the tools without eating into our much needed reserves during the bad weather. So put little sleeves inside here.
perfect.